Hello! In this video I will show you some of the new features that come with the new version of BOS 4. After installation of BOS, run BOS Configurator and connect to the default local profile. The first thing you will probably notice is the new look of BOS config. New buttons, new icons, new configuration tree with two new nodes, general and areas. Another thing that is new is that BOS Configurator now works in completely online mode. So every change made in BOS Configurator is immediately seen on BOS client. First thing you have to do after connecting to a newly installed server is control registration. Click register button and you will be redirected to comfort click login page. Login with username and password for ComfortClick site. If you don't have an account, please register. After successful login, enter server name and access ID. Access ID is the new feature in BOS 4 which enables connections to BOS server without need of knowing the IP address of the server. Access ID must be unique for each server. After you enter server name and access ID, click on register button. Now when we successfully registered a controller, we can close the web page and log out to see how Access ID works. Click on the Add button on the top right menu and uncheck the manual configuration. Enter Access ID for your desired controller and your username and password. Click OK and the profile will be imported. With controller registration you obtain a free license with one user. In free version there is a pop-out message shown in BOS client every few minutes. You can get rid of that message and buy additional users by clicking buy button. By clicking on edit button you can change access ID, server name and user account also you can change public IP address or local IP address. New toolbar now contains backup and restore functions to save or open whole configuration including templates, files and data logs. To restore a configuration click on restore button and select desired configuration. The configuration is restored with all the devices, tasks, teams, templates and files. You can also export only individual nodes by right clicking on the desired node and selecting export. So that's how I exported Kinex node and if I delete the Kinex node I can import it back by clicking import button, selecting export button file and clicking add. Devices, add, and here it is my Kinex node with all the subnodes. In BOS 4, all the general subnodes like users, messages, translations, templates, files, time, sun, and web are now grouped under general node. The biggest change was made on template node where you can manage team colors and value templates. In BOS 4 you must set template to every value if you want that scenes and controls will work properly. To change team color expand colors node and change the color of the desired object. For example I would like that my menu color is dark gray so I'll choose dark gray and my menu selection color is blue. I will choose menu selection color and choose blue. The change is immediately seen on my BOS client. I would also like to change the default color for my buttons. So I click button and change the color to dark gray and the color for my lamp buttons. So I click on lamp 
and change the color for my lamp buttons. Click OK. As you can see, we can completely change our theme look in a few minutes. If we don't like the outcome, we can always reset the templates to default by clicking Load Default button. The default templates are loaded and we can see the changes in BOS client. The same thing can be done for files. As I said before, it's important to set templates to every value. Default templates already contain some of the most used value definitions for boolean, integer and double values. If that's not enough for you, you can create your own ones. There is multiple ways to set template to a value. By clicking on the values tab of the selected node, you can see all the values of that node and you can change the value template. If you would like to change the template to multiple values at the same time, you can right click on the desired node and click values. To change multiple values, select them and set the common template with the right click. We also improved our KNX ETS import form. Now you can easily select multiple group addresses and change their value types with the right click. We are really happy to announce that BOS now supports Sonos and two universal drivers, BASIC and BASIC HTTP. These two drivers are used for controlling various devices over TCP, UDP, serial or HTTP protocol. Another interesting feature is adding tasks directly under devices node. For example, calculation, consumption lock, timer, schedule and so on. You can also create your own custom frames and panels for your device. Once you created your template device, you can export it and reuse it in other projects. Ok, that was a quick overview of the most important new features in BOS 4. Thank you for your attention and goodbye.